The most successful families are the ones that work together to achieve their goals. Of course, even the best-run households have the occasional kink or two to work out. But the truth is that no matter how well things seem to come together in a family, appearances can be deceiving. And when it comes to friends and neighbors, appearances often have precious little to do with the reality of what's going on behind closed doors. Welcome back, Internet people. My name is Ryan, and today we are playing... This for Desperate Housewives. I some, somehow still playing this. I guess it'll never end. My social lead is low. I guess I'll correct it by talking to the gay guys from the cutscene. Hello. Hello. There. We just wanted to stop by and welcome you to the neighborhood. You are literally identical human beings. That's peculiar. Um. All right. I'm nice of you to stop by. It's such a nice day to meet new people, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. What? I'm Daniel, and this is my twin brother, Frank. We just like getting to know our new neighbors, don't we, Frank? Of course we do. Uh... How nice. So what did the two of you do? Oh, well, I made my fortune, if you could call it that, in the fashion industry. Perhaps you've heard of me, Daniel Fox? The fashion industry, do you think you think B with what I'm wearing right now knows fucking anything about the fashion industry? Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> uh so uh Frank over there, Mr. Beardy, do you work in the fashion industry as well? Actually I run my own business. Oh. Maybe you should show her what you do. Frank is starting up an internet-based networking company. Oh, I'm sure that's going to be just fucking riveting. Please show me. He can set up the computers in your home for you. For free, of course. That is assuming that it's alright with you. Oh, it's absolutely. I'm a, I'm a woman, so I don't know anything about computers. You'll have to do everything for me as a man. Okay, there's one right over there. I'll start with that one. Delightful. So, now that Frank's off working his magic, we can chat a little bit until he finishes. I'm getting this, like, weird, incestuous gay vibe from the two of you. Is there any way I can bring that up? What do you think of your new neighbors? They are great, and I love all of them, except for what's-her-face. Mm-hmm. Listen, sweetie. Let me tell you something about our little neighborhood. You will never die of boredom. There is always something going on. I sure hope you're right, because things are looking pretty dull right now. That facade will quickly fade. Trust me. Within a week, you'll have plenty of stories to tell me. Give me the fucking scoop, girl. Oh, there's so much to tell. Too little. Well, did you notice how Susan Mayer was acting this afternoon? She was running around like a chicken with its head cut off, flipping over chairs in her backyard and on the porch. She seemed pretty She was out. mad and she angry. important. So she flipped over a chair. I'm sure it's fine, though. All right, I'm all done with that one. Are there any others you need set up? You should go upstairs and set up my son's computer. But please don't look in the folder on the desktop my marked taxes. He doesn't do taxes. He's like 16. Well, at least that's what we like to tell him, because he's actually like 40. But don't look on the desktop on the taxes folder. There's lots of pictures of... Um, oh, octopuses. There's lots of octopuses in there. Up you go. Yeah, Frank can be a little coarse at times, but he means well, so you get used to it after a while. He seemed fine. He was in the military so long, I think he got used to barking orders at people. Oh, that's fun. After he finished his service, he landed a job in the city, but... He wasn't happy there. So we decided to get a place together out here in the suburbs. Alright, well that explains why he's here, but why did you come with him? There's no special reason for why I'm here, really. Because Sorry, I'm his you. lover! Gross. I guess you could say I just needed to take a break from the fashion industry. It was like a big party that never stopped. 
But sometimes you really need it to stop. Listen, you're complaining about hanging out with models and shit. You get to meet them and hang out at restaurants. I'm on to you. Yes, it did get awfully hectic at times. Are you voiced by the same person as my husband? <laughs> it looks like your sun system is already set up. Of course it is. He's 50 years old. He's been working in IT for his entire life already. And that system of his is top of the line. Dual processors, two gigs of RAM, it works. Uh... Uh... <laughs> to be honest, I just think it's a waste of money. It's just a computer. It's not doing the laundry or driving you to work or anything. <laughs> Such a fucking terrible option. So I will pick it. Oh, is that so? I've set up the browser for you with a tutorial and a bookmarked homepage. Ooh. When you start the browser for the first time, you'll be directed through the tutorial. If you're already familiar with the internet, it should be like riding a bike. But give the tutorial a shot anyhow. To skip the tutorial, just click the yeah, all yeah, set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize that the little box that pops up to tell me how to do something that was very basic was going to start infecting the characters. Thank you so much. You're a doll. A lumpy, identical doll. Is it the identical set of dolls? I don't know. Y you're welcome. Well, it was an absolute pleasure meeting you. Alright, now get out of my house. Alright, let's do the internet. What does this green question mark have to say? Something loud and obnoxious. The computer has two actions. Browse internet and play internet poker. I don't want to play internet poker. But I do want to browse web. Browse various websites. I'm so excited. <laughs> the internet. Think of the internet like a giant sea of information. It is a vast ocean with an ever-growing number of ports. But to travel this vast ocean, you need a vehicle. A ship of sorts. This web browser is that vehicle and you are the captain. Oh my god, I wish like video over like Google Chrome or like Firefox. It said that. And then Internet Explorer just didn't have that message because Internet Explorer isn't as fun. Uh, alright, I think I could probably figure out the internet. I really like how there's fucking ads for real life things in the corner. Delicious shakes that control hunger for up to four hours. Goodness me. When I have a recipe that calls for a preheated soap, I always set the temperature first before I do anything else. Is this just like tricks on how to play the game? Be sure to cook food at home. Water your plants, pull your weeds, kill the pests. A Florida woman was arrested for stuffing her bra with a hot swallow. What? Eisenberg pilfered the swallow. So, wait, is this a bright thing on Breaking Bad? This came out way before Breaking Bad. This webpage is called Wacky News with a Z. This is even more bizarre than the man with the robot arms who had an illegal tree frog sanctuary in his garage. Oh sweet, I can order stuff. I refuse to order any of this though, because that would make it, that would make this whole thing less fun. Oh, what was I supposed to search for? Oh right, okay. The most important thing in my life right now is to go find out what the fuck is wrong with Susan. Um, however, well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go upstairs actually. We haven't even seen what's upstairs in this delightful home. I'm sure it's gonna be something really great. Oh god, I can't even deal with how much this is a fucking Sims house. Alright, there's a bed. Uh, I can upgrade the bed. I don't want to do that. What the fuck is this room? With all the tissues on the floor. Oh, no. Okay. Doritos and crumpled pieces of paper because that's what that's what a child's bedroom looks like. Ooh, can I snoop can I snoop on my son's computer? Is this web different than mine? I would fucking absolutely love it if you could snoot now it's the exact same internet. 
Inspiration comes standard with a Chrysler. I want a fucking Snoop. I'm, I'm, it's already been proven I'm a terrible mother. Oh, let's turn on the stereo. And just like leave it on so he knows I was here. So, I was a teenage boy at some point. Um, I'm like 99% sure that I... What is... What was he listening to? Um, I am 99% sure that I didn't fucking just leave, like, Doritos on the floor. Like, pretty sure. I want an upgraded shower. Yes, upgrade my fucking shower. I want the fanciest shower, and then I'll upgrade nothing else. Alright. I'm going to take a shower. Hopefully this results in me doing a fun flip, and then being naked. Or just literally disappearing. It's fine. It's okay. I'm happy with that. And now I am clean. Alright, is there a Neats thing here? Hints? One of these things is, has to be needs. No, that's pause. No, I got goals. I got goals and hints. There's no needs, unless it's down here. Oh, I can phone people. Here it is. I need to talk to someone real bad right now. Oh my god, you can fucking customize everything in a fucking house. Oh yes. Oh, this is terrible. Alright, 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 alright. You know what? We're gonna save this. We're gonna save that. Just gonna remember that that exists. And then we're gonna customize fucking everything in this house, and it's gonna be fabulous. Just absolutely fabulous. I'll also see what on, what's on the TV at some point, too. But for now... Just gonna wander over to What's-Her-Face's house. Remember, double-clicking on the house icons on your mini-map will allow you to instantly travel to that location, helping you to get around quickly and easily. Also, the X icon on your mini-map will help guide... Just... Alright, I did it, everyone. Alright, where's Susan's house? Susan... Susan, where do you live? I don't know where Susan lives. All right here. Let's chat about something. Of course, you know what that means. Oh, sweet. Generic oh, conversation, yeah, like like you're a gothic character. Hey, you remember me, right? Lynette Scavo? Of course I fucking remember you, Lynette. What is up? Listen, this is gonna sound odd, but have you gotten to hang out with Susan Meyer at all? I mean, how well do you know her? Um, not that well, really. Okay, good. What do you mean, good? Glad you like her, because I'm gonna give you the chance to know her a lot better. What are you asking me to do? Let's just say that one of her paintings somehow came into my possession, and I just wanted to return it to her. You're feeling really skeezy right now. What do you mean it came into your possession? <laughs> Let's just say that my boy sort of borrowed it <laughs> from Susan's home. <laughs> her. Okay, it's fine. Why? Wait, your boy stole artwork. Something doesn't add up. Oh, I don't know. Stole is such a negative word. It's not like we're gonna keep it. So, let's just stick with borrowed. Listen, it's weird that your kids fucking stole artwork. But... Why is this my problem? Just bring it back to her and be like, oh, kids. Well, here's the thing. They've done this to Susan before. She was cool about it, but... I could tell that it bugged her. <laughs> Why do they keep stealing Susan's art? That doesn't make any sense. But... Like, uh, no, no. You don't have to say anything. Okay. Trust me, it's simple. 
I'll make sure to keep an eye out and you can slip in and return Susan's painting. You want me to break into Susan's house? So, give a girl a break. Will you help me out? Come on. You should be aware. I won't take no for an answer. Yeah, they don't call me a shark in the boardroom for nothing. All right. You know what? But I, I will I will do this. I will sneak back. Children don't steal paintings. All right. But you fucking owe me. You fucking owe me, plaid. Great. I promise I'll make it up to you. All right. I guess now I can just, like, break into someone's house. Ah, oh, fuck! Run! Run! I fucked up! Run! <laughs> Flail your arms! Flail your arms and get out of there! Okay. Alright, the painting probably has to go somewhere over there. Okay, let's try this again. The first level in a home will typically have a few scattered hazards and a handful of items worth stealing. Typically, the second floor of a house is where the real money can be made. Can I just like straight up steal her shit? Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna straight up steal her shit. Why does this house just have ooh miscellaneous jewelry? I can't believe you could just I can't believe you just can you you can just fucking steal things from people's houses in this. Let's go up, get the miscellaneous jewelry. It's fine. All right, wherever I'm supposed to place this painting, it's not up here. Let's go back downstairs. Hey, look, they have Slim Fast here. Oh, right here, stack of paintings. All right, perfect. You found it. Click on the stack of paintings next to the easel to leave Susan's painting and get out. Susan will probably just assume she misplaced it and think nothing of it. Oh, fuck it, fantastic. Oh, I'm just breaking everything. Just get out of the fucking house! It's a good thing that nobody was around to hear you making all that noise. Listen! Shut your hole! Even though you were the worst cat burglar I've ever seen, I want to give you this gift card. <gasps> a gift card! That's like gold in suburbia! It's good at any store in the shopping center. Oh my god. Thanks again. We did it! We did it! I'm so happy and jubilant. I think that's why this episode will end now. Because I'm so happy. And it can't. why does it always flip around so that it's behind me? Sometimes I just want to look at my beautiful face. Um, thanks for watching. Next time, more of this, probably. <laughs> more wandering around, doing bullshit. This game is my fucking favorite!